Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology and today's discussion is about Jupiter's retrogression in the sign of Pisces. It's happening on 29th of July and Jupiter will remain retrograde in Pisces in the nakshatra of Uttar Bhadrapada till 24th of November. Let me check the date whether I am correct. Yes, 24th of November. And uh, we know that Uttar Bhadrapada is Saturn's nakshatra. So Jupiter will be uh, placed in Saturn's nakshatra for the entire stretch. And Saturn is also from Capricorn looking at this Jupiter while he is retrograde. Now, before I uh, continue with my uh, you know, analysis and exploration of Jupiter's retrogression in Pisces. Let us first understand that here we are talking about the retrogression of the planet which signifies hope, optimism and prosperity in our lives. And the house that is concerned is the 12th house. That is the house of uh, natural laws, the house of spirituality, the house of financial loss and the house of letting go. And Uttar Bhadrapada Nakshatra as well doesn't have too much to do with materialistic gain, materialistic growth. It is the Nakshatra of spiritual growth. Therefore, the underlying energy of this retrogression focuses on uh, rediscovering one's inner faith, realigning with one's spiritual values, a very active subconscious mind and about surrendering to the Almighty, surrendering to the nature, nature's wishes. It has uh, nothing to do with gains from stock market or uh, you know, wealth generation in bank. Actually, during this retrogression, there can be loss in stock market just to, you know, uh, let you know in advance. Now, let's find the energy of this retrograde Jupiter. Whenever a planet goes into retrograde motion, it becomes more powerful, gains more strength due to its proximity towards Earth and increasing Cheshtavan. It tries harder to get results. Now, being powerful does not always mean that it's beneficial. It essentially means that in retrograde motion, a planet's natural significations are not manifested in the normal way. So the planet tries harder and harder to manifest it and there can be repeated trials as well. The same principle applies to Jupiter too. However, being a naturally benefic planet, Jupiter always brings some kind of uh, positivity, some kind of benefic results to everyone, wherever it's sitting and wherever it's aspecting. This transit will also be beneficial for you if Jupiter is placed in the right houses for you. Now, coming to some interesting thoughts that I had while writing about uh, Jupiter's retrogression and I would like to share this with you guys. Note one thing here that Jupiter is highly influenced by Saturn during this retrogression transit. Jupiter is sitting in Saturn's nakshatra. Jupiter is being aspected by Saturn and Saturn himself is retrograde in his own sign of Capricorn. So the outcome of this retrograde Jupiter and retrograde Saturn are in complete sync with each other. Let's find out how. Saturn being retrograde in Capricorn is giving us the final chance to realign ourselves 
with our life, with our true purpose, with our karma. Follow the righteous path, follow the disciplined path and work hard. The rewards will be all yours. No frills attached. Jupiter being retrograde in the natural 12th house of letting go and being so influenced by Saturn is actually asking us to review our inner thoughts, to face our uh, innermost fears and let go of whatever is pulling us back in our lives so that we can actually realign ourselves with our own life's purpose. So both are working in perfect sync and nudging us in the same direction so we can uh, find out our purpose of life, we can find out the true calling of our life. And how beautiful is that? However, at the same time, it's a highly transformative energy. So it's a quite overwhelming energy as well. The impact of this energy is going to curve a very different path for quite a few of us by the time Jupiter completes his retrogression by end of November this year. These four months are highly crucial for all of us, particularly the months of September and October. The question is, are we ready for it? Let us now find out uh, what to expect from uh, this retrogression of Jupiter in general. So in general, this retrogression along with Saturn's aspect on it will cause delay in getting positive results in our lives. There can be a dip in uh, overall happiness and optimism uh, in our lives as well. Setbacks in finances, restrictions in foreign travels can be there. Alternatively, you may need to reevaluate your plans of uh, going to foreign lands or plans of uh, studying in a foreign university. High expenditure will be there and this will be a phase to analyze where your money is going, where you are spending it all and to make some corrections in those matters. Some error in judgment can be there, some uh, lack of wisdom can be there too and this will particularly prevail uh, in the month of September, which is between 10th of September and 2nd of October. Now, this is very crucial period because during this time, the, the planet of common sense, common intelligence, Mercury is also going retrograde alongside Jupiter and Saturn. Overall, this uh, retrogression phase of Jupiter is good for uh, people for spiritual awakening. That is again for the right kind of people, not for all of us. Your subconscious will be highly active. Your intuition will be high. Some of you may even receive messages or find solutions to your problems in your dreams. You will be more inclined to spend money in charity, in some auspicious events uh, in your family or money will also be spent on buying property. This will be a phase when you will get to know who is secretively working against you. Health issues can increase, chances of hospitalization remains for the right people if it applies to you. Relationship with your father, with your mentors, with uh, your teachers, professors and a husband for women and children need extra care during this retrogression. In some cases their health will need some attention as well. Now coming to the sign wise predictions. You need to analyze your own chart, the promises of your own chart and the dashas that you are running 
before you come to a conclusion. Aries, Jupiter is going retrograde in your 12th house. It is time to review your inner belief, your expenses and your true purpose of life. Property related matters can be beneficial. You may invest in property too. Chances of foreign travel, visiting places of spiritual interest can be there. Some instability in work front can be expected during, during this retrogression. Health and close relationships will need care. Taurus Jupiter retrograde in your 11th house indicates that there can be unpredictable outcomes if you are in shares and stock market. Be very careful with new investments. Short travels can bring good outcomes. This will be a good time for your siblings. Married life looks very good. Marriage is also a possibility for some of you. Gemini Jupiter turning retrograde in your 10th house shows that you will need to evaluate your professional life. New job opportunities can knock at your door. Put in your best effort uh, in the workplace. Avoid conflicts with the seniors. Your financial situation will improve. Peace at home will be there and property matters will be positive for you. Cancer. Jupiter is the lord of your ninth house and is going retrograde there. This essentially means reversal of luck factor. If you have plans for expansion in business or if you are planning a long distance travel, think, think through carefully. Short travels will be alright and father's health can cause some concern. This is a good period for studies and your creative side will flourish. It's also good for your children. Leo Jupiter turning retrograde in your 8th house is not very favorable for you. It shows that you need to be careful regarding your health. Journeys to far off places can be there. However, remain cautious during the journeys. A lot of expenditure can be there. Buying a car or a house is also possible. And maintain good relationship with your spouse's family and also with the spouse. Work front looks a bit shaky. Virgo. Jupiter's retrogression is taking place in your 7th house. Married life, business partnership, both will need attention. Try to avoid conflict. Business ventures can slow down, take good care of your health and your position in the society. There will be delay in fulfillment of desires or professional ambitions. Libra Jupiter is turning retrograde in your sixth house. Some issues may crop up in the work front. Keep good relation with your colleagues. On the positive side, you may also change job. Avoid taking loans. Foreign journeys can be there. Expenses will be high. Try to avoid conflicts with the spouse. Scorpio Jupiter's retrogression in your fifth house cautions you about your investments. This is not the time for making some quick money. Children related matters can keep you a bit worried. This is a good time for students and for higher studies. Employed people may see unfavorable changes in the work front. Take decisions after weighing all options. Sagittarius Jupiter's retrogression in your fourth house shows that you should take all decisions related to property very carefully. Change of residence can be there too. Put in extra effort to maintain cordiality with your close relatives. Mother's health can cause some worry. A promotion or a better job can be there too for some of you. And health needs care. 
Capricorn. Jupiter is turning retrograde in your third house. This will be a phase to review your initiatives, your plans for your venture. Keep your relationship with your siblings and your neighbors cordial. If you are planning a trip, I suggest holding on for some time. Invest carefully. Married life looks all right. Marriage is also a possibility for some of you. Aquarius. Jupiter is going retrograde in your second house. Family and finances can cause some worry. All kinds of financial risks should be avoided. Be very careful about what you say. What you say may actually come true and uh, this can actually add to your karma so be extremely careful. Career front looks good. Avoid differences with the spouse. Pisces. Your sign lord is turning retrograde in your sign itself. Health issues can bother you. Mental anxiety can increase. Going away from hometown can be there. Take good care of your finances as well. This is a productive time for re-looking into your personal growth and spiritual development. So I hope all of you uh, enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll again see you with another video very soon. If you want to get in touch with me for consultation, you can reach me at mohanaastrology at gmail.com. Thank you so much. May God bless us all.